Ubisoft is sending me to Egypt. You're coming with me. <laughs> we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, and this is where it all starts. I hope you've been doing leg What? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. No. This is the dopest thing ever. Look at us. We survived day one of Egypt. We sure did. Yeah. Welcome to day two, guys. Now, in day two, today's going to be our cultural day. What are we doing today? Uh, well, in the game, there's a lot of culture involved. Today, we're going to see what it's like taking ancient Egypt and seeing it in modern times, and also learning more about the characters in the game. First, we're going to go see the museum. Will they have mummies? Uh, but, yes, yeah. I think so. Will they have jewelry that I can steal? I mean, you know, look at it. You are not a very good cat burglar. I am not. But if you want to buy stuff, we're going to the bazaar today. It's uh, 400 years old. What? Yeah, that's older than our country. That's that's <laughs> older than Sears. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Is it going to be bizarre? Sorry. To the museum! Honestly, it's crazy how much necklaces have not changed. Like you could find necklaces that look like this today at Target. That's just called not trying anymore. I mean, it, or it was just revolutionary from the very beginning. It's dope. Okay, no, that makes sense too. We found a wall of faces. Just, look, it's just faces. Is this Zeus? Or is that Zeus? Why does everyone look like Zeus? During this period, Ptolemy and his family, they were ruling for like 301 years. They're Greek, and Cleopatra is Greek. People think that she's Egyptian, but really? she's not, she's Greek. Cleopatra's, Cleopatra's Greek? Yeah, her husband slash brother, Ptolemy, uh, is is the reason why she became queen because she he was like ten and she was like eighteen. She married a ten, she married a ten year old brother slash husband. Yes. What are you doing? Ah uh, no, uh, I know this one. It's a snake. Uh, this is actually uh, Egyptian snake god uh, Abi. The god of chaos. Yep. Which I'm excited for because he's in the game. The main character gets like poisoned yeah, and then like hallucinates, yeah, he hallucinates right? it yeah, and then you actually hallucinates. fight this god in the game. Which is really interesting because in uh, ancient Egyptian times, when people died to get to the afterlife, they basically had mini boss battles and and Abib was like the main boss battle to get from death to the afterlife. You know, there was finally one thing that I knew about and you had to come in and like out knowledge me. Ooh, just give me the book, give me the book. Ooh, Joven over here. What? Check it out. But it's the horse. Uh, I want to see the horse. Cleopatra. Wait, I know that name. She's in the game. She is in the game. Which one is she? They're both her. And this is her son, Caesarion, that she had with Caesar. She like rose to power by uh, respecting the Egyptian gods. So like this represents Ra, this represents the goddess of maternity, that's Isis. Uh, goddess of love and magic. So she like depicted herself as these gods and goddesses in order to like win the favor of uh, Egyptians. And that's kind of how she rose to power. Ooh, so here's a thief in the scroll version. Now wait, wait, what are we looking at? First of all, this is a uh, papyrus, papyrus? Papyrus. Oh, I was, I was close. So it's just like really old paper. Yeah, and it still survived. And it still survived. Which is nuts. And that's the snake dude that we, we saw earlier, got it? Yeah, and I mean, he was like the ruler of like destruction basically, and uh, chaos. The laser corn of Egyptian gods. Pretty much. Was. He was responsible for earthquakes and fire and just destruction. Hey, this is the section you're gonna like. What? Weapons, check this out. What do we got? Bronze daggers. No. Arrowheads. I mean, 
mean, it's interesting because these are all ancient weapons. They didn't really change that much. Hey, if something's working, don't change it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The hair, you can still see the hair. Why are you doing this with your hands? I don't know, it's good. Oh <laughs> are you waiting for a jump scare? Yeah. That's not gonna happen. Oh my God. Look, <laughs> 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 now I can't unsee what you were just doing. This is how you get cursed. This is Ramsey II. This is like the That's big, Ramsey II? Yeah, this is like the, the king. He ruled Egypt for 67 years. Did you actually know that the Egyptians kept mummification secret from the Greeks? The Greeks learned up to a certain point, but then they kept the last 30 days of the mummification process a secret, and they never figured it out, which is why it's called sarcophagus. Sarcophagus is actually a Greek word, not an Egyptian word. It actually means eater of flesh because their why? flesh would get eaten out. Why do you know so much about embalming and mummies. Because the science behind it is amazing. Look at this. I mean, some of these bodies are like 4,000 years old and they're still intact. Oh my gosh, this is the first queen. Queen Hatshepsut, which means she who is in the front. Among all the other stuff that Egyptians really pioneered in, female empowerment, that was one of them. Look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. What's that? Okay. What's that? You know, Jovan, I'm gonna... Make sure that you're not cremated and mummified so that people can make fun of you in a museum. Respect. We'll cover you in bronze. Please don't haunt me. Where are we? Mari, you dragged me on a two hour bus ride That's to right. take me to the desert. No, 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 this is not just the desert. We are in Fayum. So many people used to live here, especially during Cleopatra's time. Why would they live? Like, that building's cool, I guess. Sure, this is what it looks like now, but this place was a bustling city. Like, Morris was here. People were able to live off of this land. All this time has passed, and this is still the only Greco-Roman city that's been excavated. Ooh, 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 and there's a lot of crocodiles here, too. Whoa! Yeah. No. <laughs> I Ate a bug. I know Fayum. Uh, when we were talking to the game director Ash, he was talking about like this was like a this was like a big city. It's a hot and, spot. And uh, like this in, in the game, they run around like this is a big part of the game. Okay, so now you're talking my language. I know the video game. That's easy. In fact, he actually had a lot of good information. That's tossed to our interview. Our demo at E3 when we announced the game was in an area called the Fayum, which is a, a giant lake. We had a, a journalist who is from the Fayum in Egypt, oh, awesome. and she was there with her crew. And so she was blown away that the demo was where she lives today. That's very cool. And so the, the Fayum is a real place that, that exists today. Egypt is a wonderful place. We really try to, to bring that version of it back to life as much as possible. In terms of content and content density, let's say, the wildlife, the quests, uh, the gameplay that you can find, it's by far the most dense, biggest world we've ever built. You know, animal life, human life, quests, military locations. We have a ton of tombs and, and temples. Most of our tombs are actual tombs located around where they are in the world. That's awesome. Here we are. I hate you. How I could hate you possibly hate you? You know, this? I'm terrified of oceans, and you're like, we're not going on an ocean. This is not an ocean. We're going on a river. It's the Nile. It's an ocean in river form. Okay, no, it's not an ocean. It's just a river. It's huge. It's 4,400 miles long. That's how huge it is. Too big. I have anxieties. I did not bring my medication. Uh, the coolest thing is, there is no motor on this boat. We're on a felucca. Uh, using the power of the wind. So if we get stranded, we're stuck in the ocean. No, we're not stuck. Uh, our, our, our buddy will get us back to shore. Hi. Hello. We're good, right? We're good? All right. Yeah. It's nice. I'm on, I'm on the Nile. I'm not in denial because I would be dead. So in the game, you can fight hippos in the Nile. Mm -hmm. You can ride in the Nile. You can cruise on the Nile, which, I mean, that is 
my one favorite of the things ride. I'm very excited it's about. The using the Nile, using camels, using horses as a way of transportation. Joven, I don't think they had sea shanties back then, but what would your sea shanty sound like? Oh, hippo don't eat me. Oh, hippo don't eat me. I'll stay away from you if you stay away from me. Oh, please, a hippo don't eat me. I would clap if I wasn't holding this camera. Do you think he'll let me drive the boat? Oh gosh, not if he's a good man. I'm gonna see if I can ride the boat. No, please, I'm gonna drive no, the boat. I'm gonna no. Drive the boat. For somebody who's Shh. on the boat, I do not focus want you to be driving the boat. Can I drive the boat? Okay, what? I can hold it. I'm going up there. I'm going up there. He said it so simply. Oh my All right, gosh. So I'll stand here too. I don't know if you know okay. my friend. Okay. He is very unreliable. All right, oh my with gosh. my foot. Oh, keep it down here like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna go chill down there. I'm, I'm driving a boat. I'm just going down the Nile. Okay, I'm gonna go this way a little bit. Gentle, gentle. This is pretty cool. Hey, do you think we can do donuts in this thing? I got the oh sun God. behind me. I got a sail up there. I'm sailing, people! Look at me, Mari! I love Egypt! So the captain was nice enough to let Joven Captain the boat for like not that long, and then that was the thing that happened. now we're we're stuck. We're getting towed right now by another that's, boat. That's another thing that happened. Joe, this should be you. You should be in there right now. Thank you. You know he's gonna go home tonight, and his family's gonna be like, "Why are you wet?" We're moving. We did it. Hey, Joven, that was really funny that one time you got us stuck in the Nile. If you think that's funny, you're in denial. Hey, uh... Boom, and that's how you use that joke. You were up there like five minutes. It's a good five minutes. Not for him. Do you need any help? No? Okay. How do we do that? I have a thing with street performers and large birds. I'm gonna... And that is a large bird on Mari's hand. Look at this building. Like, I just wanna climb this building. Like, I now get, like, the climbing in Assassin's Creed. Yeah. You could actually do it. What now? <laughs> Save your life. I don't know about that. So we're walking through like one of the oldest uh, markets in Egypt, uh, if not the oldest market. Like, what do you think of it so far? What, what are your thoughts? I mean, it's incredible, right? So there's been so many different cultures and people who have come through here. There's a lot of Turkish influence. The Turks were here for a long time. I, I think it was Romans who were established when the road came. Jeez, you just have so much knowledge. I just wanted to know if you thought it was cool or not. I think it's cool. There you go. We're afraid to touch anything. Oh, look. It's a crocodile. So big. Kind of so back. Well, it's so back in crocodile form. <gasps> hey, Mari. Oh, uh, what? I think you can rock this outfit. Uh, can you belly dance? Try to belly dance. Okay. This isn't for belly dancing. This is not that nobody this wants that. This is not that. for belly dancing. Nobody wants that at all. Hey, we need this for like board AF. Look at it. One minute, two minute, three minutes. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, no, that's really cool. 
You look like Madame Gap. I look like the hand. You want this old fan? It's a cool fan. That's beautiful. Did you ever have a dollhouse? You seem like a dollhouse kind of boy. No, I didn't have a dollhouse. Why would you have a dollhouse? That's, what does that mean? Hey, right, Jovan, you've got your tea. We survived the Nile. The marketplace was awesome. We learned so much about history and culture. I had more culture in these two days than I've had like... Your whole life? Since I've graduated school. I feel like I have a better understanding of the game, where it takes place, who was involved, why it was important, all those things, just from visiting all these places. And I have a better understanding that I should not try to drive a boat. Yeah. It's not my job. But in next week's episode, we actually get to try out weapons. Are you ready for that, Joven? Part of me says, yes, that sounds like fun. The other side of me that says, I just crashed a boat. Do you really want to put a weapon in my hand? Camels. Also camels. What? No. Also no. camels. No, nope. I yes. draw the line of camels. Also camels. The camels also are camels. huge. Camels. I can't ride a camel. You're going to be so tall on a camel. They spit. Is that true? Yes. Find out next time, because I don't know if that's true. Aw, here we go. We're gonna put you on a camel. Big shout out and thanks to Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Origins for making this epic adventure happen. Do not miss next week's finale on November 2nd. You don't want to miss what happens in that episode. And also while we're at it, do not forget that tomorrow Assassin's Creed Origins finally comes out so you can have this game and play it in your own homes. Thanks for watching. Bye.